so called glitch master. I'm going to show you how to make a 3D first person shooter game. You want to get Genesis World Editor? You can Google it, whatever. Um, when you open it up, it should look exactly like this. First thing you want to do when it opens up is hit enter. And then here in your little 3D view, you should get um, a little 3D room. You can take your little eye tool and right click and move around, left click, move around, and double click and move around. And you can see a little 3D room. Go to your, first of all you want to make it so that you can play your game, so go to your, the, the T, big blue T. Go to here and click on Deathmatch Start and click on the light bulb. And you'll see here. Maybe you'll maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. There'll be a light bulb. You can take this and you can move it side view, move it down to the center of the room, whatever. And hit Enter. Every time you enter a new thing into the game, you'll have to hit Enter to add it into the game. But after you hit Enter and you hit the swoosh. You should see the little thing called the Entity, and start out, click on the little button right here, and it'll come up, just hit OK, hit Yes, and hit OK, hit, 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 you can walk around using the arrow keys and you can shoot a little bit. And that's what you have at first. If you get that so far, you're good. Judy, now we're going to create another room and add a doorway to it. So go to your little T tool and hit tools, new brush, cube. Make sure you're on hollow and none of these. Hit OK. And take a little eye tool and zoom out some and then you can take your move your tool and move it to the side. This is very important when you're adding anything to the, your game. You want to make sure, these are the two where the two rooms meet. You want to make sure that it's not like this. You want to make sure that there's not a gap or else it will make a leak in the game and it will not compile. You want to match up the two lines just like so. Just like that. You can even overlap it some but don't make a gap. And then you, you can make sure your side views are all right, and then you hit enter, you hit the swoosh. And then if you take the eyeball tool and go over towards that, you should go through the wall and be another room. But if you went to go play the game, you couldn't get in the room because there's no doorway. So go to the T, tools, new brush, cube. You want a solid and a cut brush, nothing else. Hit OK. And then move it to where you want your doorway to be. Here's the top view, so if you want to you're going to want to don't make it too big. Go to your side views and make sure that they're not under that the inside line so they can't be way out here they can't be right here they can't be right here they have to be on the, either on that line or on this side so I'm gonna put the top one like right there and the bottom one at ground level um, you could go to snap to good and take it off so you can get it on good plots um, and then when you looks like you have it good, you can look at your 3D view. You'll see a little blue square where it will be. I'm gonna make it actually a little bit wider. And then hit enter when you're done to enter it into the game. And then we can add some textures to the walls. So click on like one of your walls, hit page down, and then click on the wall again. Go to your textures, pick a texture you want. I'm gonna leave the walls of that texture, and I'm gonna put the ceiling or the floor. Is that texture? So click. You want to make sure that you hit page down, and then click on the one you want. And that one should you should see purple and green. Click on the f one you want and hit apply. 
and then you can find whatever type of ceiling one you want and apply it there. see if our doorway works. If it says like unable to I compile or when you hit yes and hit okay if it goes not responding when the game tries to load then that means you have a leak. Okay here's our doorway to our other room. So you uh, have created the you mastered the easy uh, the, the best part of this tutorial creating your own virtual world. Um, that was it for tutorial one. Um, check tutorial two for better and more interesting features to add to your game. So yeah, watch the next tutorial and I'm out.